Okay, just setting up my lights. Okay. I think this should do. Okay. Oh. Let me just finish setting up. I have no idea what I've just done because this is the first time for me. So, oh, I'm pretty nervous. <laughs> er. um, um, let's see if this is working. do the chat or out chat okay I've got that done now and I'm sorry I'm live streaming from my phone so the quality is not gonna be great but I need the laptop to you know to do the competition so yeah and, um, Okay, thank you for joining. Thank you. Uh, okay, so what's happening now? Let me explain a little bit because we've got, I think we can sign in like 10 minutes before it starts, which is not the time yet. Um, and I got an email saying that I needed to register before with the same name that I'm gonna be well, the same name, the same name which, oh god, I'm just so nervous now, <laughs> okay, it's gonna be okay, so yeah, I already registered and now I've got the Google Meet here and it says that I cannot open the puzzle before I start and I need to be muted throughout the event and the way to finish your puzzle when they give you the timestamp is basically you have to write done in the chat so it says that you can already pre-write that, so when you're done you can just press enter. So I have never used Google, Google Meet before, so I have no idea how this is going to go, but, you know, I guess it's the first time for everything. <laughs> okay. So... I'm not going to be able to talk to, uh, like a lot to you guys because I'm going to be focusing on the puzzle but I'm still going to open my chat and see what's going on. Oh, Sheila! She's in Lanzarote, that's nice. It's raining here with Kay. Hi Vicky! And yeah, um, we actually have snow right now. <laughs> so I literally just planted the wild strawberries two days ago because we had 30 degrees. And today we have snow, so I really hope they catch. So thank you, Vicky, thank you. Okay, I'm just, I need to make it smaller so I can see what's going on. I put a little bit of background music, can you actually hear it? Is it too loud or too low? Let me know please so I can change it. Sorry, I'm just, I need to set this up so it's really hard to, <laughs> oh, well, yeah, I agree Vicky, <laughs> the weather is weird. Okay, I'm just waiting now to see what's gonna happen. Oh.
I think I'm gonna have to put my thingy really low. Okay, I'd just like to remind everybody that, uh, that the puzzle is in the portrait format. I think some of you have got your puzzle spaces set up like this, but this puzzle is in a portrait format. It is long, um, so do keep that in mind if you have enough space there. Um, I've just read in a message in the chat. Oh, yeah, this so if you have any questions, you can write in the chat or feel free to turn your mic on and ask me directly. Whew. Okay, this is scary. <laughs> I'm muted, so I'm not sure if you're going to be able to hear what she's saying, but she's doing a little bit of commentating as we go. And she just said that the puzzle is portrait, so yeah, I have no idea which direction it's supposed to be turned, but whew, nerve wracking. <laughs> just need to set the chat up. Oh, Claire, yes, I'm doing a competition. It's an online, it's called Euro Jigsaw Jam. So it's the first one today. I have no idea how is it how is it's gonna go, so wish me luck. <laughs> oh. I already wrote done in the chat, so then when I'm done I can just press enter. The advice to do that, so I'm still gonna have to set the camera because I'm gonna try to record the time lapse with the camera as well. So when we are going to start, I'm going to have to, to quickly do that as well. <laughs> Thank you, Claire. Oh, this is nerve wracking. We've still got like five minutes to go. It feels like forever. <laughs> Urgh. Oh, thank you, Charles. Crouch Hill, North London. I don't know what that is. I lived in Crouch End. Is that like nearby? <laughs> I would assume so. Hmm. Okay. Thank you, everyone, for joining in. I'm sorry about the quality. I hope it's going to be okay. <laughs> it's 7.20, so I cannot make it better than that because it's on the phone. And yeah. I'm sorry about my nerves, but it's just, I'm not used to live streaming. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Claire, definitely the stress of the weight. You can see it on my face, probably. <laughs> oh yeah, I heard that you had a speed puzzling competition. I remember Vicky said she went as well. You had the zebra ones, right? That was, yeah. I want it, like, the thing is with those competitions, because obviously everything is happening either in the USA or like the UK, it's so difficult to get the puzzles with all the customs and, and the post-its. So I'm really happy that this is actually happening, you know, because it's European. The puzzles come from Germany, so no taxes for me here, well, customs. Yeah, so this is amazing. I'm just, I just want to start now. <laughs> it's just, oh. The weight is just making it so much more difficult. Oh, Sandra, we had a saying at the Worlds and we said, break a piece. So I'm not sure if it's like catching on, but we are trying to make it catch on. So you can try with break a piece. And yeah, Claire, I believe the zebras were tough. Vicky said that she doesn't want to see zebras for a very long time, so. Because I think she just did the puzzle before, like a few days before the competition. It's just a lot of zebras. Okay. Drop a piece. Yeah, I like that too. Well, no, drop a piece. Hmm. Hmm. I don't want to drop a piece. But yeah, I guess breaking a piece is not a good idea either. But yeah, we are going to figure something out. Definitely. Oh, so Finsbury Park. Is a box holder allowed? Yes, of course. If you have one, yeah, I know where Finsbury Park is. So go ahead and get that ready as well. Um, also, yeah, if you, this is your last chance now. If you need to grab some water or grab your glasses, if you need, mm. need some, I think we're almost complete. There is 
there was one person who purchased the puzzle but did not register. I'm not sure if she got the email. This is Susanna here. Uh, so we will, no, um, opening the puzzle was not part of the puzzle time. We will open the puzzle together. Mm -hmm. uh, the puzzle is shrink wrapped, so then you can also remove the plastic wrap. And then and then we will start the, the timer. So uh, you don't, we, yeah, unwrapping the package is not going to take any time away from the puzzling okay. time. Can you hear me? Madara, can you hear me now? Can you hear what Michelle is saying? Because I don't want to talk over her. So if anyone can hear her, please just let me know. But yeah, thank you. Okay, so Favorite Slovenian. Perfect. <laughs> That's great. That's everyone, including myself. And yeah, Thinsbury Park was very close to me. I used to go there a lot. Okay, I think we're going to begin now. Yeah, okay, Sandra, thank you. So I'm going to be quiet. Go through and check the list again. Okay. I'm going to be quiet when she's speaking so you can hear everything. Okay, Astronimi wrote, A kto jest pier bieži? Okay, so who's the first Slovenian? That's a good question. Who is the first Slovenian, first favorite Slovenian? And thank you, Laura. Thank you. I actually understand Polish. That's interesting. I didn't know that. <laughs> I probably completely. Yes, I can see you. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can Oh, I don't know who that is. Slavoj Zizek. I don't so know. So we're already uh, mm. live on YouTube. So we have some greetings. SJ from London is watching. Sandra from Sweden. Ida from Norway. What sunlight! <laughs> and a special greeting to Lynn. <laughs> also, I put, I think I put the live stream in the description. So if anyone wants to watch. Okay, so the official live stream, you can just watch it. I think it should be in the description. I don't know. I hope I put Anthony, it in. Can you give me a wave so I can see you? Hmm. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, now I see you. Okay. This is nerve wracking. I'm like, can we just start some party? <laughs> Nearly seven o'clock, okay. <sighs> no. Okay. We've got a crazy philosopher. Okay. I'm gonna have to Google that. I have no, I've okay. never heard of him. So, so it looks like everyone is here. Um, so just a reminder, this is two hours. The time that it is two hours. After you, um, you can already write done in the message and get ready to click that uh, when you are finished. So you can just write the message of done in the chat, ready to go. So you can all unwrap the puzzle now. Mm -hmm. Okay, unwrapping the puzzle. Oh, I'm nervous now. <laughs> this is like the moment when you realize if it's going to be. Oh, God. Oh, dear Lord. This is awful! Oh no! That's a lot of same color. Oh dear lord. So that's a new brand I've never done. The box for this should be able to easily come off. It should not be any stickers on there. Yeah. Show all the, um, the entire 
puzzle and puzzle pieces. Michelle. Yes. Are your, does the also open the bag in the in the in the, the box already or not? Um, no, that can just be part of it, like in, in a normal composition. Just yep. the just the wrapping and the plastic. Yep. Okay. 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 I started recording time lapse now. So, so yeah. yeah, it's recording. <sighs> so, just a note um, I will be doing some commentary. If you prefer not to hear my commentary Ooh, yeah. updates now and then, so, you can just keep it uh, turned. If you want. The sound a bit, with a bit low. Just um, to see that as well. I'd also like to uh, do some like, mini interviews uh, with some people, especially the early finishers. So, um, yeah, if that's going to bother you, you just turn the sound down. So, I'm going to write a start comment. Okay, oh, that's so that's my timestamp, and I'm going to do a countdown. Just make sure oh. everything's here. Okay, we have a lot of people watching on YouTube. Hello, everyone. What's your heart rate right now? A lot. <laughs> <sighs> All right, so everyone's ready. Let's do a countdown. Oh, 10, shit. 9, 8, 7, 6, oh, shit. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Hello. Oh, shit. Why is this happening? <laughs> okay, the bag is easy to open. That's good. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, how do you even tackle this puzzle? Oh, so nerve-wracking. Okay, the colors look good. Eliminate the frame. So I'm going to show the people watching on YouTube the actual puzzle that we have here. Okay, that looks good. Oh my god. This looks difficult. <laughs> now you're going to hear like me stressing when I puzzle, so that's going to be fun. Because you always just get a time lapse. actually really calming that she's talking because <laughs> I realized this Sunday that I actually prefer when I'm speaking because then my mind goes in a different direction otherwise I just start spiraling down like oh my god the puzzle is so difficult what if you never manage to finish it so it's actually quite nice that she's talking but this puzzle does look tough even though there is quite a nice gradient so hopefully you know it won't be too difficult <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to get every 500 piece puzzle in like done in under one hour, well, around one hour. So I'm hoping that this is going to be the case. So this is a completely new brand. I don't know what it is, pieces and piece. So not too much puzzle dust. Let's just, just do a little bit of like okay, a puzzle so brand review. Show, still the background yeah. Yes, this 
stylus to use watercolour, so you see that a lot in the gradient C and in the box. Also mm -hmm. in the sky. And yeah, he oh, loves so many pieces. And, uh, I'm already exhausted. <laughs> I don't know how people can puzzle standing up because my back is already aching. <laughs> I'm ready to sit down now. Oh, wait, we've got connected piece. Woof. Okay. So I'm gonna do the frame first because it's just, it's a very busy puzzle and I think it's really gonna be helpful. But I don't know, it's just, the yellow is standing out so far. So hoping that it's not going to be too bad. I like that they've got the entire variety of pieces. It's not just like standard ribbon grid cut pieces, which is really good. But how easy it's going to be? We're going to have to find out, I guess. Okay, frame. Okay, so okay. at the moment we have Eric and Louise on the screen. Large for the people at home. So it looks like most people are doing the full flip uh, method, flipping everything over. Oh, my hands are shaking. Yeah, not much to see yet, just a lot of pieces. Oh. I have to say that it's more no racking because I know that many people are watching. <laughs> oh my god, everything looks the same. Okay, I need to calm down. Otherwise, I'm not going to get anything done. It's just this stuff, or it's all the same. Oof. So some of the comments on YouTube, people want to know what the cut is like. I would say it's quite a standard cut. I didn't notice any funky pieces when I did it myself. Uh, yes, this puzzle will be added to the store. I purposely kept this uh, not in the in the store, not that anyone would accidentally buy it and then also uh, have a chance to do that one. But we do have a lot of pieces and pieces pieces of these puzzles mm -hmm. in the shop right now. Some of you have already purchased them, and I've already seen a lot of people were even using them as practice puzzles. So maybe some of you can tell by the box shape and size that it was this one. But I think for a lot of people, this will be a new brand. Okay. So we've got 47 people watching online. Yeah. Let me do it. Okay. Okay, so this is going to be that side then. Just go. So we're at the six minute mark, and some people are starting, have started with the border. Okay, I'm not the only one that's good. Some are making piles, sorting okay. the colors. I see the purples of the sky being sorted out. So it's just, this is such a long process, but it's the only way. I can't see the actual differences, okay? Now you're gonna see how slow I actually am. <laughs> oh God, I think we already had the one. No, we didn't, okay. I just hope that the, the live stream is gonna keep going because I plugged my phone and it should be charging. I just hope it doesn't die like halfway through. So if it does, I really do apologize about that, but I kind of have different priorities <laughs> right now. Okay, this is becoming easier now. There is a slight gradient in the sky. Um, so it's not too bad. Okay, there we go. Wait, did I miss something? Oh no, it's not. Okay, so this is like the top section done so now. So now we're going to check what uh, Maggie and Madara are up to. Okay. So Madara is working on the border already. Maggie is, uh, seems to be doing more of a colour sort. Oh. Okay. 
children do the green. Where this bit is. Oh, there they are. Yeah, so we have a lot of people watching from uh, yeah, the UK, Romania, Norway, Sweden, Luxembourg. So, hey, asked how often are these competitions? So, we just started, this is the first one, and we have another one next week, which is also sold out. We also have uh, on, the, so on the 25th of uh, April is the next one. Then we have a pairs competition on the 28th. We still have spaces yeah. available for mm -hmm. pairs on the 28th. Then we have uh, two solo competitions in May. Mm -hmm. And another peers competition mm -hmm. in June. Mm -hmm. So these puzzles are purchased before. Um, the mystery puzzles are pre-wrapped and they are as like normal products in our online shop. Which you and, we, and by ordering the puzzles, so everybody here was in our online shop and ordered the particular puzzle for mystery puzzle number one, and it got sent out to them. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a strong gradient. Where do you go? I feel like I'm missing our frame pieces, damn it! Well, that's the problem when you're doing the frame first. Because you can be missing pieces and then it's difficult! <laughs> okay, I think this is that side it is, yeah, good. At least I'm doing something right. Okay, no, this is not going together. Oh! I'm not completely sure. Okay, we've only got that on that side. So let's have a look at Jesse Martins and Uta. Okay. Seems like I'm gonna be. So we're at the 10 minute mark. Oh, already? Oh dear. Ah. I need more space. Yeah, so we hope that tomorrow we will publish the results. Uh, we will have a results page specifically for this puzzle with some screenshots from the live stream. Uh, from the live stream will also have a link to the YouTube video and it will have all the rankings. Um, mm. We will also post on Instagram so uh, everybody who's participated will get that link in one of the ranking images so they can share that if they like mm -hmm. but we'll have more detailed information on the board which will be on our website okay. so some people at home are puzzling at the same time and are watching you guys puzzle as well ah, nice okay this is coming along so <laughs> or i'm just a bit lost okay gotcha Finally, I think this one. Is so I just want to talk a little bit about the demographics. So I mentioned we have uh, 42 participants. I think it's 43. I had a question mark about one person, but I do see that they turned up. <laughs> so then we have 43 people from 19 countries. The countries that are represented are Austria, Belgium, Czechia, Denmark, Finland, France. Germany, Guatemala, Italy, Latvia, Luxembourg, Netherlands, okay. Norway, oh. Slovakia, Slovenia, Yay, Sweden, Switzerland, <laughs> UK, and the UK. Okay. What should we do now? Uh, Yellow with the registration form, we also ask people to uh, give their age group. Uh, so we have one person in the age group, 13 to 19 years of age. Okay. We have yeah multiple people, and then we have I guess most people would be in the age group from 20 to 29, or 30 to 39. Just a couple of people in the age group, 40 to 49, and a few in the 50 plus age range. Trying to get this thing. Urgh. It's not okay, easy. Let's have a look at Taya. I hope I've pronounced that correctly from Finland. I just I don't think I'm having all the pieces I'm just gonna 
collect anything here. Oh, I'm just being shown on the live stream now. <laughs> you can see me on two screens now. <laughs> okay. Yellows, yellows. It's just, it's quite a lot of yellow. But there's like so many different shades of yellow. And if anyone watching the actual live stream from, you know, the official one, please don't mind my... <laughs> my room because I didn't realize it's gonna be everything is gonna be in the so background. So. Uh, <laughs> and puzzles and yells wants to give a shout out to Emilia does puzzles and Jeanette and puzzles who are also both live streaming their competitions. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Where do you go? So someone said uh, they would like to see a timer on the screen and I think that would be that too. Unfortunately that was something that we just didn't quite figure out. So I'm just going to in myself for a moment. And okay. I'm just doing the old oh, fashioned style of the kitchen timer. The timer is the time is at 14 minutes and 33 seconds. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that was what just with all the different devices and technical things going on, somehow we just couldn't figure out also how to have a timer on the screen. But basically we started at uh, two minutes past seven. Okay. Okay, this really is not so easy. Wait, those are the two lines. That, oh, this one is a completely different section. Okay. This is not so easy. Okay, so at the moment we have Taya, Jeanette and Vesna on the screen. Vesna is uh, working on the border and has done the color sorting method. Jeanette has made a lot of progress. She is, has yet yeah, the border looks almost complete and she's working on the beach, I believe. And Taya is, has also sorted into color files and started mm -hmm. some of the mm -hmm. yellow some sections of the border. Oh. I'm not sure what it goes from yellow to like green, so it's a little bit difficult to know what where it ends. Okay, it's okay. Just with this. Okay, this one is gone. I just feel like I'm missing a piece here. So, some more support coming on YouTube for uh, Emilia from Finland and Jeanette from Slovenia. So, mm -hmm. I guess there was uh, maybe some people would have got both the, maybe all three live streams on the, on the screen. Thank you guys, whoever it is. <laughs> So we now have 68 people watching on YouTube. Hello to everyone, I'm really happy that you're over there. Okay, let's uh, switch things up again. I'm going to check out the Puzzle Podcast. a bit lost with the yellow I think I have to give up on it it's just driving me mad now I don't know where it goes so no. there we have Rosa from the Paddle Puzzle Podcast in Finland okay oh. and let's check out Denise from the UK okay it's a bit Denise has your family there what stands out the pink Oh, I really do not like portrait puzzles, <laughs> honest to God. Uh, okay, so I'm making just really weird noises, but you're just getting the real deal now. <laughs> I'm gonna finish the live stream and a lot of people are gonna unsubscribe <laughs> after seeing the real me. <laughs> oh. What's what now? Trying to sort the reds and the uh, pinks. As well. Amelia has uh, most of the border going and has finished most finished the gradient sky. Oh. Amelia usually stands up, <laughs> and Rosa is also standing up. 
I don't know how they do that. Yeah, I tend to uh, stand up at the beginning. I think they have more energy at the beginning. And uh, once I've done my flipping, then I, then I tend to sit down. But then I notice that my, my uh, yeah, I also tend to feel relaxed when I sit down. So maybe I should stand up more often. I never thought of that. She just said that she seems like she's she relaxes when she sits down, which might be the case. It could be a way to improve my time, but I honestly I get such bad pain in my back um, when I try to stand. It's just awful. Okay, where are we now? Wait, why is there a pink? Oh, I'm doing a different doing. Oh wait, <laughs> I did not see that. Okay. There are two different rides. Okay, okay, okay. And then we've got the face. Uh huh. Connection. And okay, so we have Amelia, uh, Catherine Beck, and Olivia Waltz on the screen right now. And actually, they all seem to be similar. Everyone's done the sky. <laughs> this seems to be a logical place to start. I actually, I didn't start with the sky, and I wish that I had because mm. I realized afterwards because it's such a long puzzle towards the end. Oh no. I was, ending, I was reaching over towards the back of the time that I was reaching so far through the puzzle and I thought if I do this again, I'd probably start at the sky. So um, yeah, it looks like they had the, the right idea from the beginning. Well, apparently I didn't have the right idea. <laughs> oh damn, I want to do the sky now. So we're well, at 20 minutes now, 20 minutes and 30 uh, seconds. This puzzle is just so slow. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I don't know why it doesn't So we've had a request. Yes, yeah, so we're having greetings yeah. from London. And yes, uh, a request to see how Kiara and Annami are doing. Maybe I should go to do this guy now. Standing up. Because apparently that's what I was supposed to be doing. I can't This seem like a good place to start. Wow, okay, so Kiara is racing ahead. She has done the sky. She's not doing the edges. That's interesting. So she's done the sky, working her way from the top towards the middle. Most of the colorful houses are done. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can find Annamie. Annamie is doing the Apologize if I'm pronouncing things wrong. Oh dear. The sky is not that simple. Okay, but looks like for me to search for someone specifically, I have to go back to complete view and find them. Uh, okay, what's going on now? Completely stuck now. Okay, I'm missing some pieces. strategy. She's starting in the middle with the colourful houses. Um, oh, and she's, she's already done the beach. So she looks like Anami started with yellow. She's done the beach and the beginning of the gradient sea. Then we have blocks of houses that are finished and parts of the sky. So there you see the timer on Anami's Just marking off the as I watch people that I don't forget to show some of the screen. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, it feels like I'm missing so many pieces. So let's have the I know I'm not. So. Ladies. Catherine from Switzerland and Annemie from Switzerland. <laughs> Hello. So. Is 
this one. Ah, okay. Finally. I have no idea where this one goes. Ah. Okay, here we have Tobias from Sweden. So in the recent Sweden competition, national competitions, he came third. So we have a lot of high profile people here, so that's also something that I wanted to mention. Um, from, we have, I did mention this on Instagram earlier today. I think I'm gonna go with the C. It seems like the gradient is doing well, so I'm so just gonna we have change my tactic. Oh, hateful trick. <laughs> so 15 of the people here started. Speed puzzling this year. Yeah, just so we have a, a real mix here. We have people who are brand new to speed puzzling. We also have others who are more experienced and have complete, competed in competitions. Eight participants were in the individual final at the um, World Championships last year, including Chiara, Anami, Tobias, Sophie, Amelia, Olivia, and Jeanette. This works. Oh no, I need darker pieces. Damn. Okay. How did I completely? Ah. Okay, the water is not as easy as I thought. So on the screen we have Hannah from Finland and Anka from Germany. Mm. So Hannah has done a lot of the buildings in the middle, some of the borders. So yeah, it looks like Hannah started with a colourful houses and a bit of the beach. And Anka has done the gradient sky and also the gradient sea. So maybe Anka really likes gradient. <laughs> Did I? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'll show you the image again. Okay, this seems to be going okay. Okay, so somebody, Kate Ellis gave me a hint that I can find people on, this, on the participant list. That would be more helpful. Thank you for the tip. I'll check that out. Some pieces, some obvious pieces. Okay, there's quite a few of them. I'm not getting the blue ones though. They just don't seem to be working with me. Okay, get get them there. Okay. Oh, it feels like it's moving so slow. I'm not even sure if the... Oh, it's still on. Oh, Stein, the last comment. Hello. I need to rub some pieces now when Stein is watching. <laughs> uh. the puzzle. It's just so nerve-wracking. It's okay. Yes, yeah, so manage. somebody asked, is there somebody here from Belgium? So yes, we actually have two participants from Belgium. We have 
pieces because it's just it's a mess okay this is under here good more connections we love that ah and where does this one go is it here i think it's here okay and now cracking on with the buildings oh, or not <laughs> so no. no they're too no. difficult the pink yeah. ones because they basically just have the frame the yellow parts of the yellow beach and, and yellow houses and something else so there's the beauty of puzzling okay the orange house let's do the orange one this one seems a little bit more straightforward or not who knows they just got they have so many windows that it's really difficult to like put them together Oh. oh god, there's a lot of houses. Okay, and then we have Karolina yeah. from the Ukraine as well. So she's doing her puzzle sideways. On the left she has the purple sky and on the right hand side she has the, the ocean. So, time update, it's 32 minutes. Wow. The time has flown by with this puzzle, honestly. I cannot believe that I'm so not somebody, even... Somebody commented, uh, maybe... Yeah, so Olivia was the, the one who was... Um, Olivia from Belgium was the one who was doing her puzzle upside down. And Kate uh, has said, I wonder if she's a Piers puzzler and that's why, she's ups and that's why it's upside down. And that's interesting with peers. Sometimes you work side by side, sometimes from opposite directions, and sometimes you do need to work upside down. <laughs> so maybe she's quite experienced at that. Okay, we have a request to see Eric from the Netherlands. <laughs> I'm just going to 
check who I haven't shown. I think Veronica. Um, I'm going to do Veronica. We have two Veronicas. I'm going to do the Veronica from Austria. Hello. Everything repeats. Good. Okay, so Eric is working on the gradients as well. And also Veronica, too. So when I started this puzzle, I started with the colourful houses and the edges. And I left the gradients towards the end. So it's just like it's the other people that are starting, starting with those. So, yeah, the countries that are most represented, we have six from Denmark, five from Germany, five from Finland, and four from Norway. Yeah, and more than more than half the people here are registered for the World Championships in September. Okay. Well, I have like, no idea where they will go. There's so many stairs. Oh, so many stairs. Where is the purple? No. Just ignore the purple for now. So it looks like Eric has a natural light. That's quite nice next to a window. Yeah, I'm next to a window as well. <laughs> Just snow for me. Yeah, we have a request to see Lynn. Okay, let's see what I can do now. So these ones. So I don't think I've done Steffi yet, so I'm going to pin Oh, no. Am I doing this wrong? Wait. Oh god, I'm on a completely different... <laughs> Maybe I should look at the picture more. Notes to myself. Okay, yeah, so we now have 72 people watching on the, on the live stream. The one thing I think is going to be good about doing the yeah, online competition. From Norway. I have to see which one of hers has the video. Okay, not that one. So, yeah, one good thing about doing the online competition, I don't think people are going to be clapping <laughs> when someone finishes, because that was really throwing me off at the world. Because it's just. Every time they clap, you just feel slower and slower. <laughs> okay, and let's have a look at Marie on Finland. No. Uh, Maria from Norway. Oops. So Veronica from... Yeah, Veronica's from Norway and also Marie. So... Is Almost done, probably. Say, I don't know. We've got more flowers. Oh, yeah, we do. So, it's over halfway for sure. Okay, and Veronica is, yeah, has, is working away from the top towards the middle. And Maria's working from the outside. This has the borders and a really nice beach. Okay, let's have a look at Okay, 
There's so many different greenery. So here's so Maria much. from Slovakia. Hmm. Why am I not connecting this? Connect. And Lisbeth from Guatemala. Uh, am I missing something? Wait, that's something completely different. That's that. So Lisbeth is not in Guatemala at the moment. She actually lives in Germany. <laughs> There's another greenery. Okay, the first It really is exciting to have so many, so many countries represented here. It doesn't feel like a little... Yeah, I mean, this is what we were hoping for, just to bring speed puzzles from all around Europe together, to have the chance to, to race against others, not just from their own country. And um, yeah, I'm just really excited to see how this is coming together. I'm just see. Oh. The yeah, but Maria has made a lot of progress. She looks at the bottom part done with the beach and also the the top part. So she's working her way towards the middle. So it looks like she's done this this part here. Oh, where am I here? And it looks like she's also done that part there. So in the middle. So I actually found the part that I found the hardest. There are two sets of rocks here. You have rocks in the middle of the picture, and then you have also rocks at the bottom of the picture. And they're both with this watercolor, dark blue gradient coming towards yellow. Mm. Okay, what do I do next? I'm kind of getting lost now. We've got so let's check in on Stefan from Austria. Oh, Stefan's in here as well. He's also made really good progress. Yeah, so most of the top is done. Ah, it's a bit difficult to know which parts of the sea. Okay, maybe just move on to something more obvious. This building, where are you? some green and yellow that I'm going to try to do now if it makes any sense for a bit okay it's a bit a big one good we like big plants because then at least we have something to work with yellow. I'm even mixing colors now. Oh. It just seems like this should be so obvious to put in, but they're just not. Here is Aurora from Norway. Oh, yellow, yellow, yellow. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so Kiara looks like she has just the rocks left to go, so less, maybe a hundred people or less, hundred, sorry, a hundred pieces, so we could be coming close, oh, oh. let's check out Tobias. 
Oh, he builds rocks as well. Oh, okay. Tobias is also working on the rocks. The rocks are difficult. <laughs> so I think it's going to come down to Kiara or Tobias. I cannot believe they're already finishing. I'm not even halfway through the puzzle. <laughs> oh, damn. It's okay, we're gonna get there. Together we can. It's just there is. It's not that easy. I don't know how it looks so from afar. We have taken on Daniela from Germany yet. Okay, and we should also check in with Sophie. Where is this staircase? Oh, it's down here. Okay, so Sophie is also working on the rocks, so I think so far the three that are furthest ahead are Kiara, Tobias and Sophie. Looks like Anami is not far behind. Okay, let's check in. Oh, I can't have more than three people on the screen at the moment. Okay, it looks okay. Tobias is standing up now. He's on the final stretch. He's got like 20 or 30 pieces left. And this is becoming so similar. more and more um, difficult now. Okay, I'm gonna check in on Amelia. Seriously? Okay. So Amelia is a bit further back. I'm just trying to see if there's anybody else who's um, close to finishing. Okay, I'm going to check in on Hannah. This is good. Okay, Hannah is, is on the home stretch too. I think it's coming down to Kiara, Tobias, and Hannah. Uh, time update 46 minutes. Oh, already. Oh, dear. These rocks are a nightmare. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I just don't itch to go. I don't even know where to go anymore honestly it's just everything looks horrible it was just a mess but let's try yellow just trying to place the pieces down okay so we've got is that okay it looks like Hannah has about 20 pieces left wow Oh no, they're finishing. Hannah, Kiara, and Tobias, you are all so close. <laughs> 48 minutes. Is the, the same pattern repeats on so many places. This makes it so much more difficult. Down to about 10 or 10, 15 pieces. Where is this? Okay, somewhere. Wait, what? I don't even know what this we is. We have a winner, Hannah from oh. Finland. Uh, wow. Huh. Yes, Hannah, Mike. 
well done. Nice. And this is so close. Now we're going to put Kiara and Sophia with like 10 pieces each. Oh, I'm so confused. I don't know what pieces go. Okay, let's do that. Then this funny wool. I don't know what it is, but I'm doing my best with it. So a lot of congratulations coming through from the people on YouTube. Oh, I don't know what else to do. I just need to stop stressing. Alright, and I mean it's all so close. She's got about 30-ish pieces left. Let's check on Jeanette. Don't check on me. <laughs> I'm doing badly. Okay. Yep. Oh, oh, that was really close finish. I'm going to shake it a little bit. <laughs> oh, okay. I think Catherine's... So, also, Catherine from Switzerland is not far behind as well. Okay. Oh, I'm going to do the finish house. Okay, Hannah, if you're there, I would like to have a little chat. I will uh, have to find you again. Hi, I'm here. Hi, congratulations. How do you feel? It's very nice. Yeah, it feels good. Yeah, I mean, you've been first, you were, you were one of my so, favorites for the night because I, we have been posting amazing times on so I thought you would be a really good uh, high contender for tonight. Thanks. Have you, are you familiar with uh, Pieces and Peace? Uh, actually, I did my first Pieces and Peace last week. So mm. I have done uh, three. Very nice. Did you, did you have a hint that it might be this brand? Yeah, I compared the box sizes, yes. yes. <laughs> and also looked at the brand list on your website, so yes. True, that's another thing. We haven't got around to it. I've been doing some detective work with my team. Yeah. <laughs> but we didn't we didn't really get get the picture. I, I have never seen it before actually. It was very nice. So and, and yeah, how, how did you like the, the puzzle and the, the, the illustration style? It's very nice. Yeah, it was nice and colorful. It's there's no daylight left in Finland now, but it was okay to do in artificial light too. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Well, oh, congratulations, so you're the winner of our first year of Jigsaw Jam, and yeah. Um, it was so, so, 
Yeah, it was really close, yeah. So you can watch later on the on the video how close it Yeah, I had, I had my daughter here and, and she was watching the stream and telling me to speed up. <laughs> yeah, well, congratulations and uh, yeah. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for organizing, it was very fun. You're welcome. So we have another finisher. Sophie is done. So close to finishing, and I have no idea how much longer I have to go. I'm just so confused. Oh, and Veronica uh, from Austria is also done. Mm. I need to get myself comfortable. Mm. Yeah, so it looks like there's going to be a few more people finishing quite soon. Olivia, mm. Castro, and Steffi. Alright, is Kiara there? Thank 
world and be able to do that, you know, chat and do puzzles with people. Yep. And it's amazing just to be able to say you, you helped put a 50,000 piece puzzle together. That's uh, amazing. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I know, and you also went to Karen Puzzle Studio. I mean, I did, yes. Yeah. I spent a couple of days in LA with her. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think so many of us uh, are here because of Karen, so uh, she's really inspired so many of us to start screen funding. So really great that you could be there where she makes her videos and to spend time with her. All right, so thank you very much. You can uh, relax now and sit back and, uh, yeah, and enjoy the rest of your evening. And you for organizing. to catch up with everything but thank you so much everyone for being here you know for supporting me and for cheering up for me i think that was very nerve-wracking a lot more than i actually expected 
I think I did good. She said I finished at about one hour mark, which is my usual time for a 500 piece puzzle. So I'm really happy with that, even though, I don't know, there was points where my mind just went completely blank. I had no idea what I was doing. So yeah, I don't know what to do. I think I can leave the chat and maybe just talk to you guys for a little bit longer. Like I, I'm just gonna mute it a little bit more. And uh, yeah, let's see where the chat is. Okay, so you're my focus now. Okay, turning the chat over. Laura says it's a beautiful puzzle. It is a beautiful puzzle, but it was, I mean, for me, a little bit of a mess because I prefer when it's got very separate sections, so it's a lot easier to do. And, um, okay, wait, okay, slow down, guys. <laughs> okay, Vicky, thank you for being here, and yeah, thank you for everything. I'll see you later. Laura, you did it, you did it. Yeah, first live stream, yeah, I did. And Vicky said bye. Bye, Vicky, thank you for being here. Andrea said, difficult puzzle, great time. Thank you very much. It was difficult, but I still managed to do it around one hour. I'm really looking forward to seeing when the actual times, because from what I'm aware of, I think that Michelle, who organizes these events, she's also the, not the organizer, but I don't know how to explain. She made the website, you know, where you put the speed puzzle or whatever it is when you put your times in. So they're going to post all the, the details of this puzzle, or like all the times on there. So we are going to see all the results. So I'm really looking forward to that. And uh, what else did, it have? Oh, did, it, did you have false fits? There were a couple, but you immediately knew that they were false fits. So it's not like... I just put them together and I realized further on when I couldn't fit the third piece in. It's like as soon as you put them together, you're like, okay, that's a little bit weird. So you knew immediately. It's not like, I don't know how to explain. I think I'm making sense. I hope I'm making sense here. Hello, Jeanette from Ohio. Hello, thank you for watching. Okay, we said bye, Vicky. Vicky left. What brand is the puzzle? So it's pieces and pieces. It's a French brand, she said, and the title of this one is, <laughs> watch my French now, Village Lontorn. No idea what I said, but I think she said like village from afar or something like that. So yeah, that's the, that's the brand. Way to go. Thank you, Anne. Okay, bye, Vicky. High five from Kansas. High five, Laura. <laughs> How's the adrenaline? Very bad. <laughs> I'm literally sweating, but it's okay. I don't know why I turned the heating on because it's like we had 30 degrees last week and today we, well, it's snowing right now. If I could show you outside, it's literally snowing. So it really cooled down. So I put the heating on and I kind of regretted it like 15 minutes after I started puzzling. So nice image, but looks tricky. It was tricky. Good job. Thank you. Water red, Nina, thank you. You are making sense. Thanks. Okay, good. Okay, Jess saying we can sign up for one of the past competitions. I think they do them. I need to check what the date is, but I'm working on weekends, so it's a little bit tricky. And Laura said, congrats from Wisconsin. Do you, do you know your place? No, I do not know my place. No idea. I just know that I finished at about one hour mark. So, yeah. What else do we have? I was expecting more singing. No. No way. I just do that when I know that no one's watching. So, yeah. Um, I discovered about speed puzzling a few weeks ago. I just started to practice. I'm enjoying it. Oh, I'm really happy to hear that. I'm sure that, like, when I speed puzzled for the first time, I was a complete nervous wreck. I didn't even know that it's possible to do, like, a puzzle in one sitting. I've done 500 piece puzzle in, like, three sittings because it was, like, I don't know. That's just the way I did puzzles. So it's, it's a very different experience, and I absolutely love it. So welcome to the world of speed puzzling. 
Um, okay, hello from Ohio and congrats, thank you. Okay. Okay, thank you guys for being here. What time is it? It's 10 past 8 for me. Oh, it's not that bad. If we start at 7, yeah, it's about one hour mark. Your place is one of the fastest. Do you know how many people entered? I think it's in my email. Let me just check that for a moment. Need to check the email. I might be wrong. I think it's like 49. Uh. Oh, wait, she, she wants to talk to me just a moment. Yeah. I think she's gonna want to interview me now. So let's just see. She just asked if I'm here. Okay. Need to turn the music off. How do I do that? Hello. Hello. Oh God! <laughs> Don't even. <laughs> I do. Yeah. Yeah, it did actually. It's my first live stream. I had no idea what I'm doing. I have it on my phone and it works. So they said that they heard you speaking and they saw everything. So it's really good. I think it worked well. Oh, excellent. And uh, the house, uh, the house, uh, it's <laughs> uh, <nerve> <laughs> we, we have snow today. I know I've said that like so many times. Yeah, and we had 30 degrees literally yesterday. So, well, Celsius, Celsius. So basically summer and today's snowing. And so, yeah, I turned the heating up, so I'm really sweaty right now. It's like the adrenaline is so, so bad. No, it's actually my first time doing this puzzle. I mean, this brand, so no, completely new for me. Oh, I like the image. I think it's like it's not my type of image. As soon as I opened it, I was like, oh god, <laughs> uh, because it's just it's very busy. And what I've learned so far is that I prefer when it's like it's got bigger sections of, you know, same color as opposed to having the same color all across the puzzle. So in that sense, it was definitely not a puzzle that I would buy in a shop, but it was fun to do. Okay. <laughs> Um, not really. I mean, sometimes it happens that you would connect two pieces, but I kind of like quite quickly figured out that they don't belong together. So yeah, no, not really. Okay. I saw something about a Slovenian competition coming up. Is, is that right? On, on, the, on the World Championships page, they had a link to a Slovenian competition. Yeah. <laughs> That's all of a secret still. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> no, um, what's happening is basically we're trying to organize it, but we still need confirmation from the school, from the venue. So once they confirm, then I'm going to go all in to start advertising it. But yeah, we're just waiting for that last, you know, confirmation. Okay, because yeah, so I've heard about the Danish, so the Germans, so the upcoming nationals are Germans, the Finnish, Norwegian and Danish. And then I was on the page yesterday and then there was like a link to Slovenia and I was like, how come I haven't heard of that? Like, I'm sure you would have been like pushing that. Yeah, no, just waiting. <laughs> and so that's going to be an official national competition? I don't think... It... Burger, puzzles and... Well, it's going to be official like World Jigsaw Puzzle Championship in a way, but it's not going to be Slovenian nationals because I don't think we have enough people to make it nationals. So it's going to be open for other people as well. Okay. Yeah. So if people are somewhere near Slovenia, then maybe they can head, head towards there as well. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, thanks for the chat. And, uh, no problem. Yeah, uh, we'll see you again at num number four, I think. Yeah. Probably more times, but yeah. uh, I've got, I need to finish my 5K puzzle and then I'm going to have more time to do more, more speed yeah. puzzling. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, then, thank you and uh, good night. Yeah, you too. Thank you.
Okay. So, I think I'm oh, going... Oh, yes, and someone just reminded uh -huh. me that there's also a Spanish national coming up in June. Okay. Let's go back to you guys now. Okay. Let me check yeah, when the comments are. Okay. Ooh. So, right. Getting towards the end, but she's starting with a whole puzzle sideways. Okay, Jeanette, you did great. What better, virtual or in person competitions? Well, I think it's different because I think I was. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, that's difficult to say. I would kind of say I was less stressed doing it at home, but then at the same time I knew that like everyone was watching me and had their eyes on me. So in that sense, it made me a bit more stressed, but at the same time, I was less stressed, if that makes any sense. I don't know. I feel like I'm all over the place. Let me just put this a little bit quieter. Wait, sorry. So what I love about competition in person is just meeting people so I think in that sense I would say it's probably better to go like if you can obviously do both but yeah I prefer in-person competition just because you get to meet people but everything is nice I just love them it's so cool <laughs> oh Joyce thank you so much yeah Nina she did that interview me Stein, did you sign up for any of the others? I'm going on the fourth one as well, which is, I don't know when. 8th of May, I think I've got my little calendar here. I think it's 8th of May. Yeah, 8th of May. So I'm doing that one as well. I'm probably going to do a few more as well. Oh, Stein, almost a full by now. Well, you have to be quick. So I think they've got like the next, well, they've got six out. So I'm sure that if this goes well, they're gonna give like more dates. So you need to be quick. I do know they're gonna be sold out. Laura, bye. Have a nice day. Thank you for watching. Yeah, Jess, I'm really sorry to hear that. But yeah, I do. I have the same problem with American brands, so I do understand the struggle. Hmm. Oh, only the second one is full. Okay, Stein, go on the fourth one so we can be together. It is Europe only, but it's okay because Stein is in Belgium, so that's all good. Yeah. Oh. Leila, Leila is actually right. They said that it's not only Europe. You can order, well, you can order the puzzle from anywhere, but you know the postage and the customs will apply at your own cost. So, woo! Siobhan is going to number four with me. Yay! Stan, do number four. <laughs> Come on, Stan, you can do it. And then we need to make Donna Louise do number four as well, and then we can all be together. No, she's in New Zealand. She's not gonna do it. <laughs> Stein, do it! <laughs> oh wow, I didn't know. Guatemala, is that the one? Nice. Oh, I'm really looking forward to the next one. And Didi Pairs as well, you probably heard when she was talking about it. So, yeah. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. I don't even know what to do. I should probably go have dinner now. Because <laughs> I haven't eaten since my lunch. But it's just so nice looking to you. I think I'm gonna say bye to them, so I can just focus on you now. Okay, how do you, uh-huh. Okay. Okie dokie. I'm all yours now, I need some water though. back on. Okay. Oh, you too, now I have to. Yes, time you do have to. 
Um, I'm tempted, but I'm slow. Layla, it's not a problem. It's for fun anyway. You know, today when they posted about the competition and they said that they've got people who were actually at the walls last year and they put those eight people down and I was at the bottom, I was just like, good. I'm literally the slowest of everyone who's been at the Worlds last year. And it doesn't matter. Like, it's all for fun, you know. And it's it's about the community. You get to meet people. I mean, obviously, I didn't meet anyone. But you were in the chat and getting to know. At least you get to know the names and everything. And you had the cameras on, so you could see people puzzling if you wanted to. I was too focused on my puzzle, so I wasn't looking. But, you know, it's just it's just nice. And I think just spreading like the puzzle joy in the puzzle community is just, it's worth it. It's worth it. What else is it? Okay, it's nice talking to you too, Jeanette. Thank you, Jess. Siobhan, I completely understand you. I'm still nervous because obviously, literally, I had Google Me on, then I had the phone for live stream then i had the camera next to my phone to do the time lapse because i'm gonna try to put it in the video if i get like a good footage out of it um so i completely understand obviously it's nerve-wracking but you're probably not gonna have camera above yourself so it's gonna be less nerve-wracking than at the worlds because i think i don't know it was for me anyway i don't know if it helps but this was definitely less stressful than the worlds for sure, even with the live stream. <laughs> um, oh, what what else is there? I need to make the chat bigger. It's hard to catch up with all the comments. Um, she had. Uh, it's okay not to be the fastest person. Yep, I agree. It's always that's what I did with myself as well. Like when I go to the worlds, because we did speak with Donna Louise about it, because she feels like she's slowing me down sometimes. I'm like, it doesn't matter. She puzzles at her own pace, I puzzle at my own pace. And when I go to the worlds, I know, I know, I know, I know for sure I'm not going to be making like the top anything, like the top 50, the top 100, nothing. So I'm literally just doing it for fun. And like, who mentioned that? Sorry, there's a lot going on. Oh, Jess said it, yeah. So it's all about your own personal best. So for instance, when I started speed puzzling, my time was my average was like one and a half hour and i managed in one year literally is it one year like one year and two months approximately i managed to bring my time down to like one hour so it's always about your own doing better than you did previously don't compare yourself to others because obviously i mean alejandro he's great amazing but he's been doing that since he was little I only started speed puzzling like just over a year ago and you, I, I'm never going to be able com to compare myself to him, you know, so you just have to go at your own pace and just try to be your best time, you know, so yeah, I'm just giving you like unsolicited advice, not <laughs> um, what else is there, probably has to do with shipping the puzzles, yeah, Stein, does that mean that you signed up? <laughs> Go Stein! <laughs> Do sign up! I'm not leaving the live stream until Stein signs up. I'm gonna wait now <laughs> until I get like a proof. <laughs> Go on. No. I believe in you. If you just wait because I can see that he cuts my head off. But I wanted to have the focus on the puzzle, but now you can't really see me. I'm just going to be waiting to start to comment now that he signed up. And then I'm going to go have some dinner. So, Stein, we are waiting. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy that I did that. I was really nervous, I'm not going to lie. It's the first live stream, never done it before. And I'm really happy to have you all here. And I hope you enjoyed it. I know that the quality is not the best, obviously, than with the phone. I'm going to try to do it with my laptop next time to have it like more front. But today I needed my laptop to do the Google Meet. That's why I couldn't. I don't know if it's possible to use the same camera for like two things at the same time. So yeah, that's why I decided to do it on the phone. So Stein, what's happening? 
I'm waiting for you. <laughs> but yeah, oh, this was fun. Oh, thank you everyone for watching. This is actually, now that it's over, it's not, it's not that bad. I just hope I wasn't cursing at all. I know I was making, making weird noises, like, because every time I get annoyed with the fuzzle, I just go like, Rrr. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, that's nice. So I can do a little puzzle brain review now, because we are waiting for Stein to sign up and he's ignoring me apparently. Or maybe it's just not, the chat's not updating. Oh no, wait, what? Did the chat not update? I'm filling out my address and stuff. Yes, you have to be a bit crazy for speeding. <laughs> I'm committed to, f the peer pressure is real. I'm glad it's working. No pressure, no pressure. We want you to be there. I feel good if my time is around twice that of your real speedy puzzlers. Laura, it doesn't matter what your time is as long as, you know, if you want to keep improving, just take the average now and then take the average one year from now and then you're going to see the difference and you're going to, I'm sure that you're going to improve. And I know it sounds stupid, but like with speed puzzling, five minutes makes a, a big difference. Honestly, everything went great today. Oh, Brian, thank you. Thank you for your order with Speed Puzzle. Yes, time. I can go now. Bye. No, just kidding. I'm going to finish the, the comments. Thank you for sharing. No problem, Jess. Yes, time is in. Jigsaw Puzzle. Brian. I know you're probably, I would assume from the name that you're in the US, so it would probably be pretty expensive for you to get this puzzle, but if you're ever in Europe, go and buy it, that, absolutely. Yay, Jess. Yes, cheering you on, definitely. Stein, we're all cheer cheering you on. Thank you for signing up, this is great. Lots of grunting, yeah, I know. <laughs> I will either sign up or cheering you all on. You can do both, Layla. Am I saying your name right? I hope I'm saying it, it's Layla. What is it? Swedish, Fin, Fin, what, what is the Finnish? Is it Finnish? Or Norwegian? I don't know, but I would say from the letters, maybe Icelandic. Where did you get that puzzle? It was from the competition, Brian. I, you probably joined in late, but we actually did the speed puzzling competition just now and this was the puzzle. It was my first online speed puzzling competition. Following the world. Yes, Andrea, I completely agree with you. And definitely it's just the community is amazing, honestly. Like, I know it might sound really stupid, but my life has changed dramatically since starting my YouTube channel is just because the puzzle community is so supportive and fun and loving and everything and it's just, I don't know, you just feel so welcome. Like when I went to the world I felt, I'm not gonna say stressed but like the first day was quite nerve-wracking because we didn't know anyone. Well there was the four of us and that was it. Like I'm not even kidding but like by day two it's like it's not even about you anymore. You just go to people and you're like, oh my god, how did you do? How did you do? It's just like by the end of four days, you just get to meet everyone. And all I'm doing now is when I see them on Instagram or YouTube, I'm just looking forward to seeing them next year. And it's about so much more than speed puzzling, honestly. That's why I said when someone asked about the online or in-person competition, that's why I said like in-person is a completely different, like, I don't even know how to say, but like it's something... Magical. Yes, I said it. I use that one. It's magical. Um, okay, I'll just join your stream. Oh, Leila, thank you so much. Wait, I just need to read the other comments. I'll just join your stream and copy what you're doing. Yes, Tan, you can do that. <laughs> Did you ever do your jigsaw puzzle shopping online? I do shop online. I usually shop on Amazon. I don't know because they usually have quite a few puzzles there and they're not too expensive but I prefer to just exchange puzzles because I've got too many I don't want to add more to my collection mm. 
I was blown away how easy it was to make friends. It was, it was insane. I know Stein, look at it. So Stein, you see, and Siobhan, you saw her in the chat as well. So we literally met last year at the world. Like, it's insane. I don't even remember which day it was, but it was just, oh God, something's happening. There's a lot of things coming up. I don't know what's going on. But thank you, Leila, I think it's all from you. It's just everything's popping up green on my screen. So yeah, Stein and Siobhan. So obviously we went to the Worlds last year as part of like the World Pieces from the Battle of the Little Fuzzlers team, except Judy, because she couldn't come from the States. And we were there and we met Stein and Siobhan and they came to us and they were just like, oh yeah, we watch your channels and it did, oh God. Literally, we had the best time. I think it was on day two, we, we invited some people over to our hotel that we met at a competition and we just spent some time together. And look at us this year, because Juby cannot make it and Vicky cannot make it. And now it's Donna, Louise, me. And then we've got Siobhan and Stein in our team. And we just met last year. So yeah, puzzle community is great. I love it. Yeah. Definitely Stein. Okay, I'm not very fast. I take my time, I encourage myself to do it. I have to make it very clear that I enjoy it a lot. Yeah, Brian, it's okay if you're not fast. It doesn't matter because like I mentioned before, it's all about just if you want to improve, you always just have to check your time and then improve your time. Do not compare yourself to others because, you know, we are all at different stages. So we can't really compare ourselves to others, honestly. Um, who are you teaming up with? So it's going to be me, Donna, Louise. Sorry, the comments are a bit delayed. So maybe I already, well, I already answered that. But yeah, it's going to be me, Donna, Louise, Stein and Siobhan. Did you live stream the competition? I was watching Emilia's live stream from Finland. No, I did not live stream. Today is my first live stream, so I did not do any. But I might do live stream on Slovenian competition. It would be a bit weird though, because um, everyone speaks Slovenian, so I don't want to be like just blabbing on in English. <laughs> um, so yeah. Is it? I can make it in one week. How many times do you redo a favorite puzzle? Okay. So Brian, do you mean like I can make it in one week? You mean the 500 piece puzzle? That's okay. You can, what I do, if I take more time, I can always start the timer, put the puzzle together. When I stop it, just press stop on the timer and then just you know, combine all the times together to get the end time. If you don't have time to sit like, or if you don't have nerves of like, I don't know. If you don't want to do it in one go, you can always just collect the times and just see if your average falls. Because since I started speed puzzling, I noticed that when I do a thousand piece puzzle, my average used to be like six hours. And now my average is down to like four to five hours, which is insane. Because I wasn't even like speed puzzling thousand piece puzzles. But it just helps so much because you are, I don't know, it's a little bit of a different approach. You start to notice little details a bit more. What I've noticed with myself is that I do not use the box almost at all. I just use the box to, like as a reference to know where to place something within the puzzle. And I think that can slow me down a little bit. So yeah, I need to work on that. But everyone has their own, you know approach to puzzling so it's all good um how many times do you redo a favorite puzzle i used to redo puzzles a lot but since having youtube channel i've got too many puzzles and i stopped redoing them these are actually the only puzzle can you see them the bottom section you can so i've got the 10 disney puzzles here and they're like the only puzzles that are actually staying in my collection so i would redo those but yeah i just I generally do not have time to redo the same puzzles anymore because I've got too many. Like, I know it doesn't sound that much because some people have got like hundreds and hundreds of puzzles. I've got about 125, which is not too much, but it's just combining it with like making it for a video and obviously doing a 5k puzzle now. Ah, 
I can show you the progress. It's on the floor now because <laughs> I was just working on it. So that's basically what I've been working on right now and as you can see it cuts off because it's too big to fit on here. That's about a quarter of the puzzle <laughs> basically on here but I've got the other section of the sky done as well. So yeah because I'm doing those things now it's really difficult to, to keep, well to redo the puzzles. I just do not have time for that. Um, hi Jeanette, it's fun to see you live. We met at work last year and I'll probably see you again there. Hi, okay, yeah, it's really, it's difficult to know who you are just based on the name and the profile picture, but if you'll be there this year, just come and say hi. Lord, it's tricky for you. If I had the same, I don't know why you <laughs> Okay, Kyle, in the chat, welcome. Oh, brother, hi, Stan. Oh, do you know each other? If I get a gradient puzzle, I will buy it in a trick shop. Oh, gradient puzzles are really fun. Oh. Oh, that's nice. So Stein knows Kyle. That's good. Ah. I've heard of Twitch. I just, I don't have a, an account on it or anything. So I, have, I don't know anyone who's on there, unfortunately. Oh, Brian, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna move this puzzle away now because this just stresses me out. But anyway, you got a sneak peek preview to the 5k adventure that I'm on. Instagram discover he streams on Twitch because someone mentioned it on national stream. Oh nice! I stream speak puzzling over on Twitch, don't have much of a presence here but I'd like to. Okay, so if I'm understanding this correctly, this guy wants to, to move over to YouTube as well. Oh that's good. He's very fast and has a super good setup. Yeah, cool. Kyle, we are talking about Kyle, Brian. So, okay. Anyway, I think I'm gonna, oh, it's so difficult to finish, but I think I'm gonna have to head off because I'm really <laughs> starting to get hungry. And I wanna just thank every single one of you for being here. And, you know, just being so supportive because I was really nervous about live streaming and your comments are just so nice and yeah, I really appreciate that. So, I think I'm going to have to go now. <laughs> go eat, said Jess. Yes. Yes. Oh. Oh, Carolina. Oh, how can I go now? Carolina just joined in. She was also on the speed puzzling competition. Love the puzzle. New puzzle brand for me. It was the same. It was new puzzle brand for me as well. Maybe the same as the Dixit puzzle. Yeah, I agree. It's similar to Dixit puzzle. I don't know if you know, guys, but we've been using them in the Slovenian competitions. Um, and I think it's just this one has a better cut because with Dixit puzzle, well, they're actually Libelut puzzles. But they're like Dixit collection. They have mostly standard cut pieces, but this one has more variety. So I think in that sense, it's a little bit easier. But the puzzle, the picture was a bit trickier. Um, I have space, 5k and smaller in my table. I've only been brave enough to attempt a 3k. I do not blame you. <laughs> I have I have spent now 21 hours on the 5k puzzle, and I'm not even. Well, I'm just about halfway through, piecewise. I've got just the green pieces left, so I'm not... Yeah, I completely understand you. 5K, this one I'm doing right now is my first, is the largest puzzle I've ever done, because 
before starting YouTube, I only had, I've only done 2,000 piece puzzle, like one of them, I think it was like dolphins. So since then I've done the 3K puzzle for the channel, I've done 4K puzzle, but that was in three separate bags of like, how many pieces? 1,000 and something, 333 pieces probably. Um, so yeah, that was a, like, it was a 4K puzzle, but it wasn't in a single bag. And now I'm doing the 5K puzzle, which is in a single bag. So that's definitely like the hardest puzzle so far. Well, thanks a lot for making me sign up for next month. Now I can be nervous for the coming three weeks. You're welcome, Stein. We can be nervous together, don't you worry. Hector, hello from Virginia. Hello, thank you for joining. Oh, they take some time and sort by color. Lewiston, Maine. I have no idea where that is. Vanessa Puzzles, hi from Belgium. Stein is also from Belgium, so you've got... Ah, I knew he's going to pop in. But yeah, anyway, I'm actually going to go now. Unless someone else joins in now at the last minute. Donna Louise is going to wake up. No, just kidding. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for being here. I know I've said it a bazillion time, but I really, really, really do appreciate you guys. I'm gonna go have some dinner now and thank you for being patient and accepting the quality of 720 pixels. Is that what it's called on the phone, which is not the usual quality that you get on my channel. So yeah, thank you so much. I love your comments. It was really nice talking to you and yeah, I'll see you soon. And now what Donna Wings always says is the awkward walk to the phone or to the camera to turn the live stream on. So I'm just going to do it. Thank you for being here. Bye. And now the awkward walk to turning the phone on. So bye.